Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's recipe. So today I made for you, it is um, this chocolate chocolate chip pumpkin bread. It's super affordable and super easy. One bowl, that's all you need to mix it. So if you'd like to see how to make it and how it turned out, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do a daily video all about budget food, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page if you would like to, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're going to need for this chocolate chocolate chip pumpkin bread, that is a tongue twister, so you're going to need three large eggs, a box of cake mix, chocolate chips if you're going to use them, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and 15 ounces of pumpkin, canned pumpkin puree, and then a half a cup of oil. So let's go in and get started. Okay, so this is a pretty easy recipe. Um, so we're just gonna combine all of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna be doing our pumpkin. And so there we go. And we're gonna do our eggs. So what's nice about this recipe is you can use whatever kind of cake mix you like. This would be good with spice, yellow, doesn't matter. Oh, Nikki, stop it. Um, sorry. Anytime I'm in the kitchen, Nick thinks he's getting food. He's got a lot like Castiel in that way. But yeah, you can use whatever kind of cake mix you want. The only thing I think that wouldn't be great would be like lemon. But anyway, so my three eggs... And we're going to go with our half a cup of oil. Oh, Nikki, stop it. Oh, by the way, um, my oven is preheating at 375. So, okay. And now we're going to go ahead and do our one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I need to buy more of this. I'm almost out. You can definitely add more if you want. It's totally up to you. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and combine all the wet ingredients together. Just get it nice and smooth. Okay, so it's nice and smooth. Everything's incorporated. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our box of cake mix. Let me grab scissors. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pour in the cake mix. And our bag of chocolate chunks if you're using them. We're just going to go ahead and get this stirred in as well. Okay, so my um, bread batter is all combined. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I already have my little loaf pan. It's already oiled. We're just gonna go ahead and put it in here.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 50 to 55 minutes. We're gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I had to let it cool, but I wanna go ahead and slice it. Oh, it's still warm. Looks really, really good. I'm gonna try a bite. Mm-hmm. It's super, super moist. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not overly sweet, which I like. But anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments what your type, favorite type of like holiday fall type bread is. I'd love to know down below. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all about your clan, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.